O Canada Conversations are a creation of IOM, made available under the Creative Commons 3.0 IGO. Please refer to the text of the audiobook for the copyright mark and the full legal code. Funded by Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship Canada. Financé par Immigration, Refugees et Citoyenneté Canada. O Canada Conversations, Dialogue number 37. Families and Employment. The following dialogue is related to Unit 7, Employment, from the Canadian Orientation Abroad Participant Workbook. For more information, refer to the following unit of the Canadian Orientation Abroad Participant Workbook, 7.4, Families and Employment. Obasi has been in Canada for three years now. He is invited to share his experience at a government-funded organization. He talks about Canada Child Benefit and Old Age Security and how he and his wife had to adjust their roles in the family. Obasi is in a large room at the settlement agency. Obasi is there with the government-funded organization counsellor and about 20 newcomers. The government-funded organization counsellor starts the session. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the information session on employment. We are a government-funded settlement organization that specializes in serving newcomers. Today, I am very excited to have a guest with us to talk about working in Canada. Obasi resettled in Canada three years ago, and he has agreed to be here with us today to tell you about his experience. Let us welcome him with a warm round of applause. Hello, everyone. When I first arrived in Canada three years ago, I was 49 years old. I came here with my wife, mother-in-law, and three children, including a newborn baby. I had never worked in a foreign country before, and I did not speak English or French. Typically, at 49 years old, people in my country are closer to the end of their careers. I had worked hard all my life even as a young boy. But in Canada, the situation is different. Because we were new here, I had to continue to work hard to support my family. I currently receive Canada Child Benefit for three children. But this will end for my eldest son when he turns 18 next year. Plus, he wants to go to university, and we do not have savings for this. Also, because I came to Canada recently, I'm not eligible to receive a pension and must wait many years to become eligible for old age security. So, in order to support my family, especially my children with their studies, I decided to find a job as soon as possible. I was a welder back in my home country, so I wanted to find a job in the same field. However, it was not easy and I had to take some courses for a few months. While I studied, I got a job as an assembly line worker. After some time, I was able to get work as a welder. I am in good health, and the job would also be a way for me to contribute to my new community. It helps me learn the language, meet people, and hopefully I can work until my children finish their studies and find their own jobs. Though I faced some challenges in Canada, I always try to keep a positive attitude. That is the advice I would give you. It helped me a lot. Thank you for inviting me. Thank you very much for sharing your experience with us. What kind of challenges did you have when you first arrived, and how did you overcome them? Sure. My wife and I moved here three years ago with a teenage son who uses a wheelchair, a 10-year-old daughter, a newborn baby, and my mother-in-law. I must admit that, in the beginning, things were difficult. I tried to find a job for a couple of months, but did not succeed. Our budget was very tight. It was a stressful time, and we had many arguments. So we decided together that she should start looking for a job as well, since many women in Canada work. We knew that if we both tried to look for jobs, it would increase our chances of success. 
we had many discussions about it. When she began to search for a job too, we agreed to divide the household work, like cleaning and cooking, equally between the two of us, and to take turns taking care of the children with the help of my mother-in-law. It was challenging for me at first, because I was not used to taking care of the children or doing the grocery shopping and cooking. But I learned quickly. We supported each other while searching for work, like sharing job postings, helping each other write our resumes, and doing practice interviews together. Each time one of us was about to send out a job application, the other would read it and review it, to make sure there were no mistakes and that there were no documents missing. Within a couple of months, I got a job as an assembly line worker. The job was to assemble finished products and to load and unload items from machines and carts. My wife and I were so happy when I got the job. Finally, our financial situation could improve. We went shopping for steel toe construction boots right away, which were required for the job. Now, I am very happy to be working as a welder because I wanted to continue the career I had in my home country. My wife has found a job as a cashier at the local grocery store. We have continued sharing the household responsibilities. We are both happy to have two steady sources of income for our family. We both agree that both of us will keep working because life in Canada is expensive and having two salaries is better than one. For now, my mother-in-law helps out with taking care of the children. And my wife is proud of herself to be working and making money to support our family. And I am proud that I can help around the house. Even though these might not be the family roles we had originally anticipated, this experience changed our attitudes about employment. We learned that keeping an open mind is very important to adjusting in Canada and I would recommend the same to other newcomers. Thank you very much for listening to me. Thank you, Obasi, for sharing your personal story. To everyone else, please be aware that it is natural to face difficult times while adjusting to a new country. Do not forget to seek help. There is assistance available that you can benefit from, Communication among family members is also very important as you go through challenges together as a team. Although things might be tough in the beginning, with hard work, in three years, you could be where Obasi is now. Hang in there. End of Dialogue Unit